All right, so let's look at the uh, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So you're familiar with the Pythagorean theorem. Um, that's something like if triangle ABC is a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Here's a little visual demonstration. Um, if you take a right triangle and you've got side lengths, you can square those side lengths. And the, uh, the sum of the squares of the two shorter side lengths is equal to the square of the longer side, also known as the hypotenuse. Right? Well, the, c the converse is if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then that triangle is a right triangle. Right? So you can use that um, to figure out if, if triangles are, are right triangles, which can be useful if you need to, um, I don't know, you might need to know that it's a right triangle because right triangles have special properties and if you know it's a right triangle then you can you can apply some other other things to the problem um, just based on the properties of right triangles, something like that. Um, so let's, let's look at that. So uh, these are all word problems because I didn't want to draw the triangle so that it would look like a right triangle or not like a right triangle to kind of give it away or to kind of influence you in any way. So we're, we're just given side links and then we want to um, uh, see if these are actually right triangles, triangles with that 90 degree angle, right? So triangle BOB has side lengths 3, 4, and 5. Is BOB a right triangle? Well, let's see. So if it is a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Um, so let's see if A squared plus B squared does equal C squared. Um, doesn't really matter what you call A and what you call B. Um, because b squared plus a squared is the same as a squared plus b squared, so it doesn't really matter if you flip-flop the, flip -flop the a and b. What matters is what you call c. Um, that's the special side. That's the hypotenuse. Well, you know, how do you know which is which could be c if this is, in fact, a right triangle? Well, the hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle, um, of a right triangle. So... Uh, you can just take the longest side length and call that C, and then proceed from there. Um, so we'll call we'll call five C. Let's see what color do we want. Uh, all right. So let's let's see if this is true. Three squared plus four squared um, equals. It's a question mark because it might it might not. Was five squared? Is this true? All right, well, well, let's see. Uh, so 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. Um, 9 plus 16 is 25. So, yes, 25 does equal 25. So because a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we know that triangle BOB uh, is a um, right triangle. Um, Yes, yes. Um, so there we now we now we can draw it. You know, rough sketch. That's bad. Ignore that. Um, all right. So triangle SAL has side lengths five, uh, six, eight, and ten. By the way, uh, so three, four, five. Um, you might have recognized that. That's actually the side lengths of this triangle over here. Three, four, five. Um, and three, four, and five are what uh, are what's called Pythagorean triples. Uh, those are sets of positive integer integers, for which it's true that um, one squared plus the other squared equals the third squared. So three, four, five. You know, any three, four, five triangle is going to be a right triangle. Um, there's other um, um, Pythagorean triples that you can memorize if you want, just to save yourself some time. Um, so you don't have to do out the work and see if it is a right triangle. All right, so triangle SAL has side lengths 6, 8, and 10. Is it a right triangle? So um, 10 is the, is the largest number out of these three, so we'll call that C. Uh, so we'll do 6 squared plus 8 squared equals, question mark, 10 squared. Is, is that true? 6 squared is 36. Uh, 8 squared is 64. 
and 10 squared is 100. If you don't have those basic squares memorized, now's a great time to start working on those. Um, and that'll just help. It'll make things faster. You can do it. I mean, if you don't have them memorized now, just do it on the calculator. Think 8, eight times 8. You know. Uh, but yeah, so right so 36 plus 64 is that equal to 100 yeah 36 plus 64 is in fact 100 uh, so yes this triangle SAL is a right triangle and uh, if you know something see, see these side lengths 6 8 10 that's 3 4 5 times 2 so this triangle um, is proportional to the first one so of course it's going to be a right triangle uh, it's just scaled up by a factor of two so we've got this Pythagorean triple three four five and any multiple of the Pythagorean triple is going to be a right triangle so six eight ten um, see if you multiply it all by four it'd be twelve sixteen twenty um, those would all be right triangles all right triangle DOG has side lengths five twelve and thirteen is DOG a right triangle? Well, let's see. So 13 is the largest one, so we'll just do 5 squared plus 12 squared equals uh, 13 squared. Um, question mark. We'll see if that's true. Uh, 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. 13 squared is 169. So I just have a few of these memorized. It just kind of speeds things up. I mean, you know, if you needed a calculator, it's okay. It's just slower. 25 plus 144 is, in fact, 169. You know, 144 plus 20 would be 164 plus the 5, one, you know, 169. So, yeah. So 5, so five, 12, and 13, that's another Pythagorean triple. Uh, so with 10, 24, and 30, or 26, you know, some kind of multiple of those. All right, uh, triangle NUB has side lengths 2, 7, and 2. Um, okay, so the longest side would be 7, so call the other 2's A and B. 2 squared plus 2 squared equals, and then we're calling that C. 7 squared, is that true? Uh, 2 squared is 4, so this would be 4. Plus 4 equals question mark. 7 squared is 49. 4 plus 4 is 8. Is 8 equal to 49? No. Not a right triangle. Um, you know, could be some kind of. Tri actually, probably. I don't think that actually could be a triangle. Might be. Uh, anyway, it's not a right triangle. Which I don't think that would actually. Be. Eh, it's possible. Might not. Anyway, definitely not a right triangle. 